10 extinct animals that were scarier than dinosaurs. When thinking of prehistoric animals, most people think of dinosaurs because they were the apex predators dominating the food chain. Huge, powerful, and ferocious. However, there were many creatures that were much, much scarier than dinosaurs. It's because most animals kept increasing in size for as long as 35 million years after the mass extinction of dinosaurs. As dinosaurs got wiped off the surface of our planet, other species got the opportunity to rise to the top of the food chain and get access to food they never could get before. This is Wildbacks, and today we will meet 10 extinct animals that were scarier than dinosaurs. Before we start, consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the notification bell so you're the first one to see our new video. Arctotherium angustidens, bear beast. Let's start off with the biggest bear species ever, and possibly the biggest carnivorous land mammal to ever walk our Earth. It's commonly called the bear beast because it's estimated to have weighed anywhere from 880 to 2,600 pounds, or 400 to 1,200 kilograms. That's four times heavier than grizzly bears who are currently the biggest bear species alive. However, in 2011, paleontologists discovered one such beast that could have weighed up to 4,500 pounds or 2,040 kilograms. Additionally, these bears had a standing height of up to 14 feet or 4.3 meters. That's the height of some giraffes, the tallest animals on Earth. This species inhabited South America and are distant ancestors of the only extant short-faced bear species, the spectacled bear. If you're interested to learn more about bear evolution, check out our previous video after you finish watching this one. The subsequent species of bear beasts that were slightly smaller but enormous went extinct about 10,000 years ago, meaning our human ancestors have faced these monsters in the wild. Eucalopterus, sea scorpion. Let's move to the sea where we find the largest anthropod to ever exist. The biggest discovered specimen of this genus is estimated to be 7.5 to 8.5 feet or 2.3 to 2.6 meters long. It also had 18 inch or 46 centimeter long claws. The segmented body had evolved perfectly to be agile in the fresh waters it inhabited and great vision from the compound eyes allowed it to become the apex predator of its time. It primarily preyed on other anthropods, and it's likely that bigger individuals would even feed on smaller members of its own species. Arthlopleura amata, biggest invertebrate. If you're in for another terrifying anthropod, there's this species from a genus that translates to jointed ribs. Such a name comes from the fact that its fossils show prominent ribs on its exoskeleton, which possibly reached over eight feet or 240 centimeters in length. It makes this species the largest invertebrate to ever have roamed the Earth. Its fossils are found in North America and Europe, and it's thought to have lived about 300 million years ago. Sadly, not much is known about its diet, but most evidence suggests that it consisted of fruit, spores, and seeds. Titanoboa serianesis, giant snake. If you think that anacondas are big snakes, wait until you hear about the largest snake that has ever existed. Estimating its length from skull fragment fossils, it possibly was 47 feet or 14 meters long. It's nearly three times longer than the length of a green anaconda, which is 17 feet or 5 meters. Additionally, the snake weighed up to 4,000 pounds or 1,815 kilograms. At first, it was thought that they preyed on large mammals and water animals. But some paleontologists argue that their diet primarily consisted of fish. Either way, the only redeeming quality of this monster is that it lived about 60 million years ago, just when the dinosaurs went extinct. It means that our human ancestors didn't have to worry about being swallowed whole. Josephora tegeja monesi, monster rodent. Rodents like hamsters and mice are cute and make great pets. However, this species related to Pacarana is far from that, as some estimates say that it weighed up to 5,700 pounds or 2,585 kilograms and was 5 feet or 1.5 meters tall when standing on all fours. This species lived in South America somewhere between 4 and 2 million years ago and is the largest rodent species ever discovered. 
Despite being herbivorous, it had front teeth that were 12 inches or 30 centimeters long and had an absurdly powerful bite. Scientists estimate that this rodent had a bite force of 4,165 newtons, which is over three times as powerful as lions. Meganera, predatory dragonfly. Dragonflies are one of the coolest insects, but those of genus Meganera were just too scary to be considered cool. They lived approximately 300 million years ago, so way earlier than dinosaurs. The first fossils of individuals belonging to this genus were found in the late 1900s, and they were described as large-nerved because there were noticeable veins across their wings. That's right, these dragonflies were so huge that their wings had veins. But just how huge? It's estimated that the biggest species had a wingspan of over 28 inches or 70 centimeters. That's way bigger than most birds living today. They grew so big because back then Earth's atmosphere was 35% oxygen compared to about 21% today. As a result, insects evolved to be bigger and bigger because high oxygen levels are actually toxic, and the only answer to that is to grow larger. Forest Rhacidae, Terror Birds This family of flightless birds went completely extinct about 2 million years ago but were the apex predators of the Americas. It includes dozens of discovered genera, but the most fascinating one is called Titanus. One species of this genus was up to 6.2 feet tall or 1.9 meters and weighed about 330 pounds or 150 kilograms. Long legs with three-toed feet were armed with sharp talons that helped it snatch medium-sized mammals before finishing them off with its axe-shaped beak. Titanus is also speculated to have had small hands similar to velociraptors. While serving no apparent purpose, the hands might have helped it accelerate and maintain balance when running at a top speed of 40 miles per hour, or 64 kilometers per hour. Now that's a bird you wouldn't want to run into. Bacillosaurus, King Lizard. This genus included some of the biggest animals to have ever existed. So-called king lizards evolved from land-roaming animals and resulted in the earliest known whales and marine mammals. They first appeared about 40 million years ago and the biggest species were up to 66 feet or 20 meters long and weighed up to 60 tons. While it had an eel-like body and was well adapted to move in the water, it lacked mobility out of its sheer size. However, it didn't stop them from becoming apex predators preying on other marine animals like early dolphin and shark species. Bacillosaurus had no trouble defeating other predators because it's estimated that it had a bite force comparable to modern-day crocodiles. Gigantopithecus blackie, real-life Bigfoot. The biggest extant great ape is the gorilla, which weighs up to 450 pounds or 204 kilograms and is up to 5.6 feet or 1.7 meters tall. That's a massive animal, but it's nothing compared to the biggest great ape to ever exist, Gigantopithecus. So far, there aren't many discovered fossils, but some scientists estimate that it was up to 12 feet or 3.6 meters tall and weighed up to 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms. It existed for about 6 million years and went extinct about 100,000 years ago. The species inhabited the tropical forests of this day China and likely coexisted with modern humans. Luckily for our ancestors, the diet of these apes didn't include meat and was based on fruit. Just imagine facing a creature that's twice as tall and ten times as heavy as you. Homo neanderthalensis, human relatives. The final entry might sound strange at first, but hear me out. Could you imagine anything scarier than something human that isn't exactly human? Neanderthals were physically stronger than modern humans and could not only use tools and weapons, but also language. While some of us carry Neanderthal DNA, meaning we interbred, there's also evidence that these two species engaged in conflicts and even wars. There is countless fossil evidence showing cracked skulls, broken arms, and pierced rib cages of both modern humans and Neanderthals. Just imagine sleeping at night in your hut when you get woken by war cries reminiscent of your tribes but still completely foreign. Then you start hearing shrieks of pain from your brothers that are being clubbed down by something that looks almost like you but different. That's the night raid by Neanderthals who came to slay everyone you know.
Modern humans eventually outcompeted Neanderthals and came to be the only human species in the world. But it doesn't mean that encounters with them weren't some of the scariest things imaginable. So which of these 10 extinct animals seem the scariest to you? Let us know in the comments section down below. That was it for today's video. Thanks for watching. 